If you watched my last video and cutting the quilt with scissors is not your idea of a good time, I'm gonna show you one other way to do it. It's totally okay if it's not what you wanna do, you can find your own method that works best for you. That's why I'm showing you multiple. So I'm gonna go the other extreme now and not only trim, but remove all my paper before sewing. Let me show you. I still sew individual blocks together before trimming. I just think it saves a little bit of time and I'd rather sew them together instead of having to go back and forth between my cutting station and my sewing machine. But once I've got four blocks together, I'll trim and use the seam allowance on the pattern and line it up with the quarter inch line on your ruler. That's how I trim. And I trim around all four sides of the quads that I've made. Now don't panic, but I'm gonna take all of my paper off. I don't need it to indicate seam allowances because I can use the quarter inch seam allowance on my sewing machine throat. I will put a couple pins right at some numbers so that after I take all the paper off, I still at least have a couple labels on the blocks and I can keep track of which block is what and make sure I'm joining the correct sections. But every other piece of paper can come off at this point. Once I take all the paper off, I'm just going to put them right sides together and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm still going to pin as if the paper was on there. I do wanna check and make sure all of my intersections line up, my beginning and ends match. I'm still going to check that when I pull back at a quarter inch, that intersection matches. But other than that, I don't need to do anything but pin it and sew at a quarter inch. I like to press open where possible and I'm really using my thumb nail to run along the seam and make sure that I feel that it's completely pressed open. I don't want to press any folds into that seam.
This method works especially well for making sure that you sew right through intersections, especially if there's more than two seams at that intersection, you can drive your needle right through the intersection at the point and make sure that you're getting it right on. If you leave the paper on, you can still rely on the paper to know where to sew, but if your sewing was not right on the line, it might be off a little bit. I really like this technique even if, or maybe especially if, your sewing is not right on the line. Because using this technique, you can take advantage of the little bit of a stretch that even straight grain fabric has and really work and take your time to make sure your intersections and your points match. But find the technique that works best for you. It's a combination of them. It's one or the other. It changes daily. It doesn't matter as long as you get the quilt done. Happy sewing.